guys welcome back to my channel so um i want to show you guys a couple of new makeup products that i got it's not a lot i think i got like three new products that i wanted to use and share out with you guys and test out for the first time um i have this maybelline spray that i lost the dog on top on ignore this i, I fell at work I, i'm i'm gonna tell you all about it when i'm when i'm doing my makeup I have this Maybelline glass spray. Um, uh, this is supposed to be really, really good. It's a makeup finishing spray. Skin looks hydrated um, with a dewy finish. So we'll see. The top is off in the bag somewhere. Um, I have a Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Color. And I have it in the color Soft Nude. And where my other stuff? Oh, I have. Okay, I got to show y'all. <laughs> My niece was with me in Sephora, so she chewed the top up. But it's never used, never open. This is the Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Volumizer Mascara. Now, if you've been on my channel for a while, you already know my status with my lashes is damn near non-existent. So, we're going to try out these um, products. Like I said, it's not a lot because I'm waiting for the Sephora sale. Plus, I want to do a video if I have time on some things on my list for the Sephora sale, if I can get it out in time. So, hopefully, I can get it out by Sunday. Um, this video is going to be late because I'm filming it late. I've been trying to, like, batch film. It's just so much stuff i got to tell you all. So, if you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe, join our little community. Please forgive my eyes. I am, like, I'm going to tell you all. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for returning. I'm so glad you are enjoying the content. And if you want to get into these couple of new products and get into a story time of me falling at work, keep watching. <laughs> My eyes is a little puffy, but y'all get the gist of what's going on. It's hard for me to do my makeup in this camera. So I'm going to look off to the side. Okay. I don't need a lot of one. So let's get into the story. Well, well let me just tell you this part first. So, I don't know if you guys remember me telling you guys about my teeth issues from my chemotherapy. Um, I'm not, I've got allergies. So, again, please um, excuse my eyes and stuff closed. Like, my allergies have really, or like puffy and like, if I look like this, my allergies have really been bothering me lately. So, just please bear with me on that. It's not going to be like that um, by the end of the video. But you guys remember that I have um, issues with my teeth because of my chemotherapy. So the last either video or video before that, I was telling you guys that I have a chip in my tooth in the front because basically my teeth are crumbling because of the chemotherapy and I didn't get um, this solution or whatever this stuff is you're supposed to get when you're getting chemo. I didn't get it. So. Basically, my gums dried out and I'm having teeth issues. So, I'm going to use a little bit of the glow from Huda. Just a little bit. I'm not, I don't want like a bunch of like foundation or anything on. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. Also, too, I'm using the glow recipe first. I already got that on. I moisturize and all that stuff. But I got the glow recipe, um, the dew drop on. And I let that sit. I forgot to tell y'all that. So I'm going to put this on. Mm, brush. So I had the chip. I had the chip. So I wanted to tell you guys that in case you saw it in the video. Because, you know, I'm really self-conscious about it. It's something that bothers me. It would bother anybody. So I'm laying in the bed maybe a week and a half ago. So mind you, I'm eating... Cabbage, because I'm on my diet. Eating my cabbage. 
So I'm just steady chewing on this little piece of cabbage. All of a sudden, I'm feeling something crunchy. So I'm like, what the hell I got in the cabbage? That's like, is it a peppercorn or something? I have no idea what's going on. Y'all, please tell me why I spit this cabbage out of my mouth and it was a hunk of piece of tooth about this big. I'm not even going to show y'all because I can't even deal, but just trust me when I tell you, the way I'm holding my mouth is for a reason, so don't laugh. I have a whole, <laughs> I can laugh now, but I literally have been like on suicide watch, trigger warning, I've been on suicide watch this last few days because I know you, when I was sitting there, I said, I know you lying. So I have a hole in my tooth to the point where I can stick my tongue and you can see my, like you can see straight to the back of my mouth. Like it's literally a circle. So I'm sitting there in shock. I don't even know like what to do at this point, but I got a throwback for y'all sidebar. Y'all remember these, these Tati beauty little sponge things. Cause I'm not going on Amazon trying to find these little stupid triangle sponge things that everybody going up for. I don't got time for that. So, this was my sister's, and I don't even know if she know I got it, but after she see this video, she gonna know. But, I'm gonna try and see how this does with my, um, my under eye powder. Cause I can't find my little, um, Real Techniques brush I love to use. Okay. Okay, I mean, I got the proper one. I guess that's the whole point of it. It seems like it's leaving little particles. So it'd be like your forehead be creasing all up. Okay, I mean, I guess it's as good as it's gonna get. So yeah, I got the biggest hole in my mouth. So then I go to the dentist, makes an emergency appointment. Call myself, make an emergency appointment. They didn't have no emergency open, so. At the wait, and like unless they like unless you dying, or like you know, this tooth got to come out like right this second, you gonna have to wait, dog. So all right, so I wait for my appointment to come up. So I goes there. I'm thinking to myself, you know, let's just get this tooth fixed. We'll deal with the rest later on. But you have to get this hole in your tooth fixed. So I get to the dentist, and the lady basically tells me that you know you're not getting this tooth fixed, dog. Like. It's, it is what it is. It chipped off. You know, we're not going to fix the tooth. So I'm just sitting there at this point. She sounds like Charlie Brown's teacher as I'm sitting here listening to this lady. Because all I'm thinking to myself is, lady, what you mean you're not fixing my tooth? Like, how am I supposed to walk around? What's, what's getting ready to happen here? So she basically tells me that, you know, it's like, Eight teeth, eight more teeth that need to come out. So I'm like, okay, I don't, I don't even know, like, I don't even know what to say at this point. I'm just sitting here listening to this lady because I'm in shock. I don't even know, I don't even have like a response to her. So she says, she gives me this paper. She's writing down all these teeth. The teeth have numbers, like, you know, number eight, number 22. So she gives me a paper, and it, first of all, it looked like more than eight damn teeth on this paper. So I'm like, all right, I don't, I don't even, okay. So what is the next step? I hate when they try to make it seem like it's, things are going to be one way, and then they turn out a whole nother way. Meaning, remember when I told you guys that they might have to take all my teeth out? She's sitting there talking to me like, you know, that may not be necessary. You know, it's only... You know, two at the bottom in the back that need to come out. Mind you, I already got like three in the bottom taken out already in the back. And I think it's like four up top or something. Ma'am, that's my whole mouth. Like, I got four teeth left. Like, what are you talking about? It... So, girl, I got to stop traveling with my makeup. What done happened to the pen? Yeah, I got to find a better way to travel with my makeup or something. I need, like, these little Ziploc bags and stuff is not getting it. I need some good 
if you if anybody travels with makeup, with bags or compartments or whatever that you guys use, because I can't keep doing this because my makeup is getting torn down. You know, this is how the appointment's going. She's making it seem like, you know, it is it's gonna be okay. I don't necessarily have to get the um my, all my teeth taken out. So by the end of the appointment, and she gives me this paper with like fifty five teeth on it, she tells me, you know, it would be best if you just remove them. So I'm sitting here like, I'm upset, but I'm not upset because I, I knew this already, but she made it seem like this is something that can be fixed. This is something that like, I don't necessarily have to do. My eyes are wondering if I get these certain teeth taken out. So I'm like, you know, okay, this may have a happy ending anyway. So she tells me, basically, let's just stop playing. They got to come out. Then they tell me that I didn't. First of all, let's just go back. After that, I was just like, I was super duper depressed because they have to take all my teeth out. And then in the fact that this could have been preventable is what really like what really drove me over the edge. Like, I was upset because I felt like my doctors dropped the ball, but then again, they didn't because I'm alive. So it's like, who who do I be mad at? Who am I angry at? What Like, where does all of this energy go? My mom's like, well, ask them, can you get a temporary? I didn't even think of that because I was so outdone from the whole appointment, I didn't even think of that. So I goes back because I had left by this time, my eyes is watering. What is going on? Child, I might be low-key still upset because this has been, like, lately I have been, like, sitting home thinking about this. This has been crazy. So, I goes back because I had left by this point. So, of course, the dentist is with another patient. So, I asked the guy at the front desk, can I ask the dentist a question? So he says, you know, what's the question or whatever. So I tell him what the question is. So he proceeds to answer the question. Talking about, you know, we don't know if, you know, the insurance is going to pay for, you know, the replacement teeth and temporary teeth and all of this. And just the way he's answering it, it really sounds like he don't even know what he's talking about. So I'm, I'm never, I don't like to be rude to people, especially people in service. But I had to ask him, I said, did you go to dental school? So he says, no. Because I'm just sitting here like I asked to ask the dentist a question and you sitting here telling me what you don't think and all that. I didn't ask you. I'm, I said, can I ask the dentist a question? So he writes my question down. Of course, I never hear back from the dentist. So I calls the oral surgeon who I have to go to to get my teeth taken out to ask this question. Can I get temporaries? Because mind you, it got to be two months with me no teeth whatsoever. My gums got to heal when they take all my teeth out and then... I had to wait for the teeth to be made. So this is two whole months. Mind you, it's, it's April. So it's summertime at this point. You might as well say it's summer. Then I have trip and stuff planned. And I'm like, when I'm, I'm not walking around here all summer with no teeth. That's A. I got trips and stuff planned. Like, what is... That gives you a little background into what I'm about to lead into. So... I go through my little, you know, depression and stuff. I'm watching this show, TGIF. And it's funny how you know things already, but when you hear somebody say something, it's like the first time you heard it. I was looking at this story they were saying about Floyd Mayweather's personal assistant dying. She's like 48 or something like that. That's, that's young. 48 is young. So... Claudia was saying how, you know, she, how she knew this girl. This was a really close friend of hers. And Claudia then says in like this really serious voice. And I felt, I really felt like she was talking to me, even though I know she wasn't. That's what it felt like. She was saying, every day, live your life to the fullest. Like, we got to stop playing. And even though I've had this conversation with so many people you know, my family, not so many people, but like my family and stuff, for some reason, 
Me sitting there in that state of mind. I think it really be about where you are in your head at that time. You can have all of the answers, but if you're not in that state to receive it, it's just not, it is, it's not going to penetrate. And it just clicked on me. Like this has taken almost two years of my life already. Don't let it take any more. Like the depression and the sadness. And I'm not going to say, I'm not going to sit here and lie and act like it's not going to be days where I'm not going to feel this again. Like I'm not going to go through this again. But I'm going to try my best for it not to overtake my life the way that it has been. I am watching TGIF. She says that and it's just like, okay. Okay, that's better. Asia, you got to get it together. You just, you cannot keep letting this take over your life. So I take a day off of work because mentally I just, I can't even deal with it. So I take a day off and I hate taking days off, hate it, but I take a day off because I, I, I literally need it because I'm going to be at work and I'm going to end up snapping. So take the weekend. I have a positive attitude, get myself together. You know, you got to make sure you pray and all of that stuff really just Get this stuff off of your chest and off of your heart. I'm going to use the this old KKW lip liner. This is in Nude 2. They don't have it anymore, but um, I want to try this color with the Mario. So, I get to work. I have a good attitude. We're moving some stuff around at work. I'm going to open the Mario Soft Nude. So this is what it looks like. It's like really soft. The component is really pretty. It's not a large size. I forget how much this was. I got to look online and see how much this was. It's really tiny. But let's see what the color looks like. It's soft though. My goodness. This feels so. It's like pillowy. Guys, this is beautiful. And it's so soft. I don't know if I'm tripping, but it also has like this menthol -y taste to it. But this is, I love this. How do you guys like this color? I think this is gorgeous for the summertime. It feels really soft. Very pillowy, but not slippery. This feels so, it feels good. It does transfer, so it's not like a color that, you know, you're going to be eating and drinking all day and it's still going to be there. I love this a lot. Like, it doesn't feel, like, tingly or anything like, you know how you usually have plumpers and stuff? It doesn't feel tingly or anything like that. But it, it definitely has a menthol -y taste and smell. It doesn't, but I don't feel any tingling or anything like that. Okay, so let's get back to the story. So I'm at work. Have a really, really, you know, positive attitude. You know, I don't want to let this take over my life no more. You, I want to start planning more trips, being more positive, just being thankful for what God has blessed me with. Like, I'm alive. Like, so many people have been taken from this. Like, let's just, you have to learn how to deal with this and move on. And not necessarily move on as in forget about it, because I'm not going to ever be able to forget about it. But... Move on and be better. Move on and, and, and praise God more instead of like letting it overtake you. Again, some days I'm going to have a good day. Some days are not going to be so good. I'm, I'm human. But having a wonderful day. We're getting into the Rihanna mascara. Having a wonderful day at work. We're moving stuff around. Somebody's mopping or Swiffer wet jet in the floor. So... I see one of my coworkers moving a Balenciaga case. She's going slow, so I'm assuming it's heavy. So I'm goes to go over there and help her move the case. Mind y'all, the floor is damp. Do y'all remember when Carrie was in Paris and she went to the Dior store and fell and slid all across the damn floor? That was me. Y'all, I'm at work. When I tell you the way I fell... This is another reason why I'm on a diet. I literally felt like I was on 600 pound life how I fell 
the sound, the heaviness. You know I got a skirt on. Skirt lifting all up. Like, it was so dramatic. I'm sitting on this floor like, I mean, I felt heavy. I felt like a... Like, that's how I literally felt like I was falling. Just sloppy and... Oh, my God. Mind you, I hit my hip first. I had to put my hand up. This is cement floors. If I didn't put my hand up, I would have hit my head on the cement floor. I had no... It felt like I was falling for 20 minutes. I had no control over when I was stopping, where I was going. So I broke my fall with my arm. Thank God my arm is not broke, but it's hella sore. So they wanted me to go to urgent care. And I've never been to urgent care. And I, I had enough for the hospital right now. So I just was like, let me, they gave me ice. I hate putting ice on stuff. So I just went and got me some icy hot patches and bandaged it up and stuff. And yeah, this is where we at right now. So let's get into the Rihanna. I got a little bit closer because I've heard mixed reviews about this, but some a lot of the reviews I saw was really, really good. So this is what the wine looks like. I can't tell yet whether it's a wet formula, but I do love how small the wine is. Okay, can y'all see? Okay. I'm so busy telling the story. I don't even know if I finished my shadow. Okay, that's one coat. I usually do two to three coats and I rotate. So I'm going to give it a fair shot. Let's do the other eye. I'm sorry about the face. This is a mess. Despite me getting mascara all over the damn place on my lid, which I hate. It looks so sloppy. This is junk. This is. Do y'all see how pretty this looks? Let's do the bottom. I was hoping I didn't like this because I love my little $5. Essence Lash, even though this only $19, but still. Now, the test going to be, I do got some droplets, though, from the mascara on my eyes. I mean, it's not a lot. It's not a big deal, but so that's something to be mindful of. But so far, guys, this mascara bomb, I'm annoyed. So, again, the test is going to be how it lasts. Because I've had bomb mascaras, and by the hour or two, it's like my lashes be so skinny. Like, it soaked up the product. Guys, this is gorgeous. Okay, so, the last product I want to use is this Maybelline Glass Spring. Let me get my scarf. Between this Rihanna and this Makeup by Mario Lip. All right, let's see. Oh, it says shake. Cool. Look how dewy and shiny I look. Yo, look at my skin. I don't know about nobody else, but I'm happy. These products are so good. I'm very, very happy with the Rihanna. Again, I will give you guys an update on this, on how it wears. This Rihanna is gorgeous. I might have to keep this in rotation with my Lash Princess. Mario, the color is gorgeous. I think it's like $24 or something. Let's see what um, Sephora says about the Rihanna Mascara. A long-wearing, ultra-creamy black mascara with a brush that coats every lash for an outrageously thick, lifted look. Now, I won't say that my lashes are necessarily thick. They're not thick. 
it elongated my lashes, but they're not thick. And I feel like already I can see like the thinning of my lashes. Like even on my bottom lash. Can you see? Like the thinning. It's not like thick. Let me see if I can go over it. See, that's the only thing. Like I don't want to have to have two mascaras on. When my lash princess, I don't have to do this. Like you see the difference with my lash princess? Like, all right, my top is too dry. Yeah, my last princess is just, it just, I like the Fenty, but I don't even have to wait to give a review. I love the Fenty, but even me putting my last princess on top of it, like, look at the difference. Like, my last, prin like, my last princess is it. I'm not, I, I'll keep the Fenty because I can layer it. Like, I do like the look of it layered, but my last princess is just so far, it just can't be beat. So, that's just it. So, if you guys already have, like, really thick, you know, lashes and beautiful lashes already, the Fenty will definitely enhance, elongate them. Like, the videos you've seen of the mascara making them longer, it definitely does that. Thickness. I don't really know about that. Like, when I first was putting it on, it did look like my lashes was thicker. But already, I see the problems that I have usually with mascara. I have really thin, scarce lashes. And the mascara never holds that thickness on my lash. And this Fenty was no different. Already, I'm thinking, like, you know, a couple hours, I'm going to see a difference. Like, already, I've seen the difference of my lashes thinning. So, I went on top of that with my... Um, uh, Essence Lash Princess and it's like, you know, the biggest difference. But again, I'm going to keep it and just layer it with my Lash Princess, but it's not, if you're looking for really thick lashes, I don't, me personally, I don't think this is it. The Mario, I love it for the color. I don't know about the lasting properties of it but I'm going to keep it and wear it throughout the summer because the color is beautiful it feels good it feels like I have nothing on my mouth it's just it's a beautiful easy lip gloss and it's not too glossy like it's not like you got like grease and stuff all over your mouth it's a beautiful shine but it's not too much it's just I mean and what is it like $24 it's, it's so easy to put on so I definitely will buy this again. I really think it's beautiful for the summer. So I'm going to keep it in rotation. The Maybelline Glass Spray. You can see for yourself how gorgeous it is. Like, like look how beautiful my skin is. So it's definitely, this is a 100%. Is I'm going to stay in rotation. I don't know what it looks like. Let me see. It doesn't have like sparkles or anything in it. It's just dewy. Like, look at my fist. Like, and this is just, like, I would not spray it really close because, honestly, I felt like this would, like, melt your makeup or something, especially around your eyes if you spray it too close. So make sure you spray it. Don't spray too much and spray it away from your face so that it doesn't, like, move or, you know, shift your makeup. But I would say in terms of one, two, three, this would be number one purchase. Mario would be number two, and the Fenty would be number three. It would be the last thing that I would get if I had to repurchase. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please let me know what you think of everything. If you have any of these products in the comments below, please don't get forget to subscribe, like the video. That helps me out a lot. And talk to me, comment below, and let me know what you guys think. And until the next video, bye.